Hey guys, welcome to another Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized Edition. Before we get started, I want you to head down into the comments and let me know what Pokemon that we should go back and catch that might have gotten away from us in the first session. Um, and maybe even rec uh, recommend a nickname for them, you know, make this more interactive. So, uh, last time we left off, we were into Sprout Tower and we beat it. We didn't get Flash. I believe we got. What was the name of the move? Um, Magma Storm. Um, it's not definitely not gonna light any tunnels for us, but today we're gonna go and try to tackle Faulkner's Gym and hopefully not completely fail at it. <laughs> so, I learned a couple things from our last recording session. One, I needed to speak much more louder because I was speaking so low, the static was being able to be cut, picked up like as my normal voice, so that, that's not good. Um, as you also notice, we're starting earlier. Um, I don't think this would be fun if the whole series take place at night. Uh, I'm now looking at this, and we may or may not be over leveled. Hopefully that's not going to be an issue though. Um, I hope you all enjoying the series so far. Uh, I know that the first batch of episodes is kind of messy. Might be. Um, I will admit, I'm not using the best editing software, or I'm not using the best way to record this, but it's working out in the end. I kind of had to double process the videos, so it kind of ended up looking more messy than it should have. So, I hope you all enjoyed the layout, though. I, I really like the layout. I had some input from some, some, from some buddies. Um, alright. I also learned that I'm going to be starting each episode as its own recording, because last time I tried just doing a hour and a half session and just cutting and going as we went. That was a bad idea. I don't know why I thought that was going to work. <laughs> um, and also, now that I have everything set up, I have my internet back, everything's getting rolling, um, I would like to ask if any of you would be interested in seeing this stream. Um, I know that it might be a little iffy, because I know a lot of people don't actually want to go out and watch Twitch and shit. But, I still haven't tried streaming with this computer. I was thinking maybe I'd try. And if so, maybe we can do like a live recording session with these videos. Um, I would just need to figure out how to exactly pull the Twitch archives off from the website. Um, Ledian, yeah, let's switch to... Yeah, let's get Bugs out here for a bit. She's, he's kind of lacking behind in, uh, experience. I'm trying not to be too loud, because I don't want to wake my cat up. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to start recording with him sleeping in here, but I just needed to get this done, or else I'm not going to get it done, period. It was just Christmas, like, three days ago. I hope you all had a happy holiday. I'm kind of dating these episodes, but whatever. I'm pretty sure you all will understand if I, you know, maybe date the episodes once or twice to, to wish you some happy holidays. Um, and with that, we beat both the first trainers. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and I'll meet you back in front of Faulkner. And we're back at Faulkner, alright. Um, let's get this battle started. We're gonna be headed in with Beldum slash Metalhead as our primary teammate because we want to try to get him a Tang this session. So let's go. People can say that flying type po you can just flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I wouldn't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of magnificent bird Pokemon. Bird Pokemon. Jill. Alright, so never mind. It's not Faulkner, it's Poet Jill. And he's starting off with a Corefish. Alright. I'm sorry, Corefish, but I gotta use takedown on you. Man, it'd be cool if we had a Corefish for this playthrough. I don't have a nickname or anything, I just like Corefish. Um, something I want to talk about. Uh, it's, it's, it's not really something I need to, but it's more of a technical side of things. Not even technical. 
Um, so for playing this, when I started, I was using a PS4 controller, because as you may or may not have guessed, I'm emulating this. Um, but yeah, I was using a PS4 controller as my my main thing, but over the holiday, is that see Dragonite? Shit, what the fuck? Oh no. Ah, oh, we're on par with this level too. Um, but over the holidays, I went and bought, well, and bought a Power A controller for Smash, a Bowser edition one, because y'all know that Bowser's gonna be my main boy. Um, and this feels way more comfortable to play, like, Pokemon and shit on. Like, it's wired, that's eh. But honestly, this is, this is very nice. Um, do we have a potion that we could throw on Beldum? Uh, we do not. I should have bought one. Uh... Alright, let's use this energy powder. I'm not... I, know you try, I try to keep off the, the natural remedies in Pokemon, because they usually make your Pokemon hate you more. Um, so this is a flying type, so it's not going to want to... Yeah, this is a pretty bad choice on my part. Let's go to Bugs. Maybe Bugs can actually do some damage. Maybe we get just that switch experience off on Bellsprout. You know, hitting off with the Leer straight off the bat. Um, so I don't know if he even has any physical attacks. I mean, so far it just seems like Twister and Thunder Wave. So hopefully him lowering our defense isn't going to hurt too much. Unless Twister's a physical move and I just completely forgot. Ooh, that hurt a lot. It doesn't help that this is a pseudo-legendary. Uh, I forget what Foresight does. I think it's Foresight for season upcoming attack and lets you skip it. Ooh, doesn't matter because Bugs is gone. Um, let's go for Metalhead. And let's use let's go back to that takedown method. Um, we're probably not gonna beat him this attempt, to be honest. Ooh, wait, actually never mind. Beldum seems to be tanking those fucking twisters. Uh, so maybe if we can get a crit? Ah, hitting us with the fucking Thunder Wave again. I don't... I don't... Maybe... Maybe Metalhead's speed won't be affected because of Clear Body. I'm not 100% sure if that's even how it works, but it's nice to be helpful. Ah, uh, now I'm thinking about it. I don't... Why didn't we use Corefish for fucking... Or why didn't we use Weirdo for Corefish? That would have been a good pairing right there. We might end up Rossberry? Burn. Sleep. Oh, we have everything but something for paralysis, basically. Well, we've gotta keep trying. Metalhead is not doing well right now. We're gonna need that critical and fast. Um, he's probably gonna be able to take one or two more of these and then he's gone. I really don't want this to be a repeat of the Water Gym in Pokemon Glazed, but it looks like it's going to have to be that way. You know, it comes with the territory. We're doing a randomizer. We don't know what to expect when it comes to this shit, so it's all is fair. Um, Twist is a dragon type move, so even though we're not going to be doing the most damage, we should still be able to do... No, uh, he's... He shouldn't be able to hurt us too much. I don't know why I'm talking like we're going to be the one hurting him when we're using a grass on a flying type. Uh, come on, weirdo. Oof. Probably should have gone for a wrap. And first whiteout of the game. Um, we're not going by normal Nuzlocke rules, so I am fine with that. I decided against making this a flat-out Nuzlocke. Alright. So, let's, let's tackle that in a different way. First off, we're going to put Weirdo up front. And then we're going to head to the Pokemart, because we're going to go pick up some potions and paralysis heals. Because I did not know he was going to have those paralyzed hacks. Hello, good sir. 
Do you happen to have Paralyze Heal? You do. Um, we don't. Oh yeah, we have plenty of cash. Let's get like five. And then let's pick up some potions and maybe get like um, five as well. And let's spend the rest on Pokeballs. Alright, now let's go and give this another good try. Alright, let's get this started, Jill. All right. As we predicted, he's going to start off with the core fish again, which I don't think that's ever going to change. So let's go with that Vine Whip. Maybe help get Weirdo up to some sort of point where he can at least stand up to Dragonite. And hopefully this may be enough for a level up. And it is. Woohoo. Alright. Going to Dragonite, so we're going to go back out to Metalhead. Um, I know it's probably not the smartest idea since, you know, the recoil and he's going to hit us with a paralysis again. But I think Metalhead is our hardest hitter and it would be smartest to lead off of him since Swisher doesn't affect him as much as it does the others. Of course, starting off with that Twister, going strong. Metalhead flinched. Ooh, that's not going to help. Oof, that Thunder Wave. So I'm going to wait till we chip him down for a good bit, and then I'm going to go in for the Paralysis Heal, and then... Oof. Alright, yeah, we're going to need to go for that para uh, Paralyzed Heal. He's probably just going to use Thunder Wave again, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, we have some of these we can burn. Hit us with the Twister again, knowing that it's going to hurt us hard. If we lose again, I might have to go out and go find that Blissey that was on Route 2 or 32 or whatever. And now let's use a Potion. Hitting us with the Twister again, because that boy know nothing else. This is going to be a rough battle, and I have to fast forward through this a bit. Alright, we're getting a little risky right now. If you got a crit, we probably would have been done for right there. I believe in you, Jill. I'm sorry to just bumped my mic right there. We're not out of this battle quite yet. We've still got some ways to go before this dude takes us down. Oh, uh, I forget this. This dude? Yeah, he has two Pokemon. Two more hits should do it. You know, bugs may have not have been oof. bugs may have not been inside this battle, but you know, there wasn't really a good opportunity to use them. And you see it mess with those flinches again, so we got to use another potion. need to hold up on Twister, Jesus. I know he's got nothing else to use, but still. We need one more hit, just like... Come on, Metalhead, don't flinch. Don't get paralyzed. You can do it. And we've done it, boys. Metalhead did good. Did good pull-through. 
Level 14. Come on, level 15? Ah, uh, no, not enough. 1,560. That's not bad. Um, for p for p for pity's sake. Yeah, I thought it was for Pete's sake. For pity's sake, my dad cherished bird Pokemon, but defeat is a defeat. All right. Take this official elite badge. Uh, this is the Zephyr badge. We have received the Zephyr badge from Jill. <laughs> Now uh, with that badge, Pokemon have traded with you up to level 20, we'll obey you. you can use Rock Smash outside of battle. Here's TM51. Uh, I don't know what TM51's gonna be. Roost? Is that what he said? Oh wait, no. This doesn't matter what he's gonna say because it is Flash Cannon. Ooh, we might be able to throw that onto the Tang whenever we get him. So let's go check out that trade that that uh, hiker had. Oh yeah, Professor Elm. Uh, hello, Chance, we discovered something. The details are, well, we can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant's at the Pokemart in Violet City. Would you like to meet him and pick up the egg? Alright, so... I guess we're going to pick up the egg first. I completely forgot about that. Um, I think he's... No, it's not you. I think he's in the Pokemon Center? I, I, I probably actually just read that and just completely forgot. Um, can't believe I'm blanking out on where the scientist is. Jesus. Alright, let's go. Um, actually, you know, he might be up to the right. Or up to the left, might be. Um, no? I can't believe I forgot where this dude is. We'll uh, be right back. And we're back. Alright, so I am a dummy, like I predicted. He's at the Pokemart. Uh, long time no see, Chance. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. He would like to carry the egg. Yes, we would like to carry the egg. Uh, I have no idea what they were talking about. After Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anything more suited than Chance. Uh, he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how we came here to deliver this egg to you. It seems that this Pokemon will hatch, but only when you keep it in your part. Yeah, I know how eggs work. But thank you, sir. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this is. I can only imagine if like a legendary popped out of this. I know it's probably not going to happen, but it'd be cool. Ooh. Oh my, that egg must be. I see. It was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then to Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take care of it for me. Is that understood? If it's like a magic card, I'm gonna flip. Alright, so before this episode ends, we are definitely gonna go and check out that trade with the hiker. Uh, and then you can decide in the comments if you would all, along with the Pokemon you would like to see back. Oh, it's not a hiker, it's just a bald dude. I don't know why I thought he was a hiker. Uh, because in the normal game, he, tra he trades you an Onyx, and I just usually associate an Onyx with, uh, with hikers, so... Wait. Was it you or... Jeff Bellsprout? You want to trade for my... Uh oh, what? No. Come on, I trade... Alright, so I will say right now, I did randomize the trade received and asked for. So I don't know if the names just don't change or what, but... If y'all would like to see me go out and catch another Bellsprout and trade it with him to see if it's actually an Onyx, I will do so. So, um, I hope you like this episode. If you are enjoying the series so far, hit like, hit that subscribe button for more episodes in the future. And until next time, see you later. Bye bye